Hey guys, so here is a menu driven program to input an integer and find the area of different geometrical shapes. So for a menu driven program uh, of this question, it would mean something like if the user enters 1, find the area of a circle. If the user enters 2, find the area of a square. If the user enters 3, find the area of a rectangle. If the user enters 4, find the area of a um, triangle. This is a menu driven program. So here there is no menu as such given. You can actually create a menu first and then go ahead with writing the program be fitting for that menu. So let's say if the user enters 1, uh, I'm going to find the area of a circle. If the user enters 2, let's say it's a square. If the user enters 3, it's a rectangle. And if the user enters 4, it's a triangle. So I've created a menu already. Now I'll work with the uh, finding the areas of these uh, values. So one way of going about this is you can get the input like choice from the user and check if choice is equal to equal to 1 and then you can proceed with it or obviously when it's something equal to and you have many choices you can use a switch case statement. If you're using a switch case statement, I'll show the if-else also in the code. If you're using the switches, switch case statement where choice is 1, 2, 3, 4, you can go ahead and do something like this. Case 1. In case 1, you can printf asking the user to enter the radius of the circle. And then you can go ahead and take scanf for the value of the radius. Let's say percentage F, ampere sand, radius. And you can go ahead and print F. Area is equal to percentage F and print pi, which is, let's say I'm going to define pi as a constant, like hash define pi, 3.14, pi into R into R. This is one way to go about it and you can take case 2 so print f uh, enter side in a square you have side so enter side and scan f percentage f ampere sand side and print f you can also mention here area of a circle you can write that so here you can write print f area of square is equal to percentage f and you can print side into side and oh please don't forget the break statement here I keep forgetting please don't forget the break statement or it will print all the areas in one shot break statement case 3 can be written as print f enter length and breadth so enter l and b or you can write enter length and breadth and scan f percentage f percentage f ampere sand len comma ampere sand breadth bre and you can write print f area of rectangle is equal to sorry made a spelling mistake is equal to percentage f and you can write len asterisk bre so as a user enters you are writing the cases so case 4 you can go ahead and write uh, let's use the formula of area is equal to half into base into height so you can ask them the user to enter the base and height so scan if percentage f you can also write as percentage d no problem percentage f 
uh, entire base and height and you can go ahead and print f area of triangle is equal to percentage f half into base into height the default can be anything invalid input and you can close so this is very easy to be written in the form of a switch case you first if the menu is given go ahead according to the menu if the menu is not given you can go ahead and write the uh, form in the form of a switch case statement also so let's see how this works in the code so let's start with first uh, a variable choice which of integer data type so we'll keep building it as we find it so print f since the menu is not given and you're providing it to the user uh, you have to mention it in the form of a menu driven format so you can say something like print f uh, and uh, uh, enter your choice and it can be slash in one for circle slash n two for square slash n three for rectangle slash n four for triangle so and then mm, you can write slash n and ask something like a question choice question mark and enter so we'll just see how this works alone and uh, and so we have your scan of statement percentage d ampere sand choice this part alone we'll run and see how does it work so it comes in this format enter your choice one for circle two for square three for rectangle four for triangle choice so that is what i've written here when menu driven programs preferably write in this format on the side so that a user as soon as they run the program they are able to see what is expected out of them since it is not a predefined choice menu driven program so the choices are defined by you so please mention that and the choice let's say he enters four or something and yeah so far the program ends here and now let's see so switch case choice and let's start for the case one we are doing it for the circle right so i'll define a hash define pi 3.14 so print f slash n enter radius and uh, when the end user enters radius you have to take it into scan f percentage f ampere sand radius so we'll go ahead and declare float rad for radius and calculate the area and put it in the printf statement directly so slash in area of circle and percentage f here it should be pi into asterisk r ad asterisk r ad will be printing you can print it as percentage f square units or square centimeter centimeter square or meter square as per your wish so after that don't forget your break statement then comes case 2 you can go ahead and take these set of statements and you can repeat it once again copy paste it so print f this is for the uh, square so this will be enter side so this can be side so we'll have one more variable here side 
uh, int uh, so printf area of uh, square is equal to percentage f sorry uh, this is percentage f square units this should have been here area of square and this variable will be side into side side asterisk side and the break statement then comes our case 3 sorry about that case 3 so enter length and breadth of rectangle so percentage f percentage f let's say ampere sand len ampere sand bre and this will be area of rectangle percentage f square units sorry i forgot to change this i think it didn't save earlier so this is side asterisk side and this will be len asterisk bre this will be case 4 and this is enter base and height h e i g h t this will be percentage f percentage f and base and height h t area of triangle is equal to percentage of square units can be half into base into height this will be 0 0.5 into base into height and default can be printf invalid choice invalid choice you can also enter something like enter area radius of circle enter side of square enter length and breadth of rectangle enter base and height of triangle can also be done this will be side len bre base and height there you go run the program enter your choice one for circle let's say first one for circle uh, i'll be entering 10 and it will be printing 3.1400 square units next enter radius of the circle uh, so square so i'll put 2 enter side of square 10 it will print 100.00 square units next comes 3 for rectangle let's say i'm printing 10 and 20 length and breadth so 200 square units um, enter 4 for triangle i'm entering 10 as the base and height and it will print 50 square units so it's displaying everything for all let's try another version let's say 5 or something which is not there it prints invalid choice so this is for the uh, case now one more way i can do is i need maximum of two dimensions only so i can put dimension 1 and dimension 2 you can do that where you can change one of them to dimension 1 and radius can be dimension 1 and dimension 1 and side of the square let's say i'm taking dimension 1 again and side of the square can be dimension 1 into dimension 1 area of the rectangle you can take it as dimension 1 and dimension 2 this can be dimension 1 into dimension 2 and your base and height also can be dimension 1 dimension 2 and this can be dimension 1 and dimension 2 i've done nothing other than reduce the uh, number of variables that is being used i had used like around uh, one two three four five six variables 
you can check it randomly enter 1 for circle let's say I enter 10 so it should print yes I'll enter for the triangle as well so I'll print 4 and 10 and 10 it should print 50 yes that is working now for the else if ladder you could do uh, I'll retain the printf statements because it's typing it is going to be a lot difficult so if choice equals to equals to 1 you can have the printf statements so just remove this I'm just removing this for now and printf statements so we need brackets so wait undo undo if choice is equal to equal to 1 I'm going to take all these set of statements and put it here yes okay and comes the else if choice equal to equal to 2 then comes your bracket and you can enter these set of statements inside here and this here and then comes else if choice equals to equals to 3 so I'll remove these for now choice equal to equal to 3 and you can print this over here and else if choice equal to equal to 4 you can take the one for the triangle and put it there or else the last else statement which you can replace it with the default statements default case statement invalid choice and get rid of all that and there you go same thing has been written in the form of your uh, else if ladder you can run the program and check for 1 uh, 10 should print 314 yes for 2 for square should print 10 so 100 yes for 3 for rectangle take 10 and 20 should print 200 yes and for 4 Mm, take 10 and 10 it should print 50 yes it's still working for everything so this is the else if ladder version of the one that we did earlier the other one was a menu driven program using switch case this is using um, else if ladder the menu what you can choose to put inside is your own you can combine square and rectangle together also no problem thank you